The goddess Anuanula was in love with the bright silvery hair of Iyar's daughter. One day, Anuanula appeared to Iyar's daughter as a crow, crying, Alas, alas, I have nothing to build my nest with, and my eggs will surely freeze. And Iyar's daughter was moved, so she cut off a braid of her silvery hair and gave it to Anuanula. The next day, Anuanula appeared to Iyar's daughter as a small girl crying. Alas, alas, I have nothing with which to weave the hair for my dolls. And Iyar's daughter was moved, so she cut off the second braid of her silvery hair and gave it to Anuanula. The third day, Anuanula appeared to Iyar's daughter as a handsome warrior. Alas, alas, I have nothing to wrap around the hilt of my sword, and I will have no luck in battle. And Iyar's daughter was moved, so she cut off the last braid of her silvery hair and gave it to Anuanulan. But that evening, when Anuanulan tried to fall asleep on her prize, she couldn't. Was this not softer before and brighter? Was this not brighter? That night, Anuanulan appeared to Iyar's daughter as herself. But when she found her, she was weeping. Alas, alas, why do you weep? Is it the loss of your beautiful braids? I weep out of loneliness, said Iyar's daughter, whose name was Yaren. I have guests, but they all leave. Now that I no longer have my hair, who will visit? Who will stay? And Anuanulan was moved. Come, look at the sky with me. And in the sky, Yaren saw a silver wheel spun from her own silver hair. Then Anuanulan took Yaran's hand and stayed. Comic illustrated by Emily Carroll. I don't know who the story was written by, but the links are in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.